How expensive is chronic inflammation? In this video, we're going to look at the economic burden of chronic inflammation, and the majority of the information will come from the Center for Disease Control. So let's look at this. Here we are. So Center of Disease Control, you can see the leading causes of death and disability in the United States, heart disease, stroke, cancer, type 2 diabetes, obesity, and arthritis, the most common, costly, preventable of all health problems, all are chronic inflammatory states. Now, if we look at this, out of, uh, in 2012, about half of all, of all adults, half of all adults, over 100 million people, have one or more chronic health conditions, and one of four adults has two or more chronic health conditions. And again, chronic health conditions is is is, is this grouping right here, so heart disease, etc. Seven of the top ten causes of death in 2010, chronic disease. Two of these chronic diseases, which are both chronic inflammatory diseases, cancer and heart disease, 50%, almost 50% of all deaths. So if we look at obesity, which we know is also a chronic inflammatory disease, how do we know it? Well, it's just simply a body mass index of above 30, uh, which is, for some people, of course, if you're really fit and ripped and packed on muscle, it doesn't really work out. So you want to cross-check this with uh, waist-to-hip ratio to determine if BMI is accurate, and that's discussed. All, all the markers for chronic inflammation are outlined in Chapter 9 of the Deflame Diet Book. So arthritis is the most common disability, most common disability. So 53 million adults with a doctor diagnosis of arthritis. 22 million have difficulty with their activity because of the chronic flamey state of joints. So the chronic inflammatory problems are it's just extremely problematic. So risky behaviors. Well, of course, the biggest issue, of course, is uh, poor diet, lack of exercise, smoking, and alcohol. Easy to read, these guys. All you have to do is just Google chronic disease as leading cause of death and disability in the United States, and you can get this uh, page on the CDC's website. So what's the cost of all this? What is the cost? So 86% of all health care spending in 2010 was for people with one or more chronic medical condition, which are caused by what? A pro-inflammatory diet, lack of exercise, smoking are the biggest things. Heart disease costs in 2010, you can see uh, $315 billion. Cancer, $157 billion. Diabetes, $245 billion. And it goes up. It goes up. If we go back and look at another CDC publication earlier, I think it was 2009 maybe, but you can see they looked at back in 2009, uh, you can see the cost for heart disease and stroke was uh, $313 billion. Cancer in 07 was $87 billion. So let's just go back to uh, 2010. So cancer, $89 billion in 2007, and cancer... In 2010, 157 billion. This is going up, and it's just not going to change. So if you compare the cost from 2000, 2003, 7, 4, 2007, and 2009, we see that expenditures increase, 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 and no amount of intervention with a procedure, as in medications or surgery, is going to fix this. This is all lifestyle. Pro-inflammatory diet, lack of exercise, smoking is the problem. And what about actually the biggest cause, the biggest driver, the economic cost of pain in the United States, and that pain is a chronic inflammatory condition. So if you look at 2008, half, 100 million adults had chronic pain, including joint pain or arthritis. So it's not just arthritis, but 100 million Adults, that's one out of five. I mean, that's, that, that, that's 50% of all adults, chronic pain. And what is the cost of this? The cost is staggering. The estimated national cost of pain ranges from 560 to $635 billion. And this is larger than the cost of 
the nation's priority health conditions, the chronic conditions I mentioned, earl I mentioned earlier, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, etc. So what do they say? Because of this economic toll, you need in research, education, training, successful treatment, management, prevention. You know, you just got to eat anti-inflammatory. You got to eat the deflame diet, exercise, and stop smoking. It's really, really not that complicated. So we've got to turn off the flame, and this is probably the easiest way to do it. Just follow the uh, guidelines in the deflame diet. Use Chapter 9 as the marker and uh, the flame can reduce and many people can significantly or completely reduce their pain.